The government rested its case on Monday with its last witness telling the jury how impossible it would have been for Mohamed Jabate, a.k.a. Jungo Jaba, to have at the time be a member of the SSS as he claimed when applying for permanent residence in the U.S. The witness, whose identity is being protected for his security, said he covered the civil crisis from its inception till former President Taylor became president. He said by virtue of his proximity to the executive branch of government, it would have been impossible not to have crossed paths with Jungo Jaba if he was a member of the SSS. The witness said he was he saw Jungo the witness said he saw Jungo Jaba at the executive mansion once only as a bodyguard to Al Haji Kroma during an honoring ceremony held for rebel faction leaders who had agreed to see agreed to a ceasefire and to promote peace. Defense lawyer Defense lawyer Gregory Pagano pushed the witness to agree that Jungo Jaba might have been at the executive mansion as an SSS officer, but the witness disagreed. In another twist to the trial, the defense lawyer Gregory Pagano has told the court defense witnesses in Liberia will not be testifying as was arranged. This means the trial will end sooner than expected. The government had arranged for defense witnesses who had problems in the government had arranged for defense the government had arranged for defense witnesses who had problems in getting to the US to testify via the video link via the video link from the American embassy in Monrovia. Defense lawyer Pagano Monday brought out 10 character witnesses who testified in one voice that they all knew defendant Mohamed Jabate and that he was a good man with a good character. And that he was a man with a good character. Character witnesses are people who live in the same community with an accused. They were not they were not given a chance to speak individually or to be cross-examined by the prosecutor. They were not given the chance. They were not they were not given the chance. They were not given a chance to speak individually or to be cross-examined by the prosecutor. Legal experts monitoring the trial say it was a strange tactic. That could hurt the case. Outside the courtroom, Pagano rejected reporters' questions about the move, saying he will not discuss his strategy with them. Closing arguments will be held Tuesday before the jury begins deliberation. From Philadelphia, I'm TTG reporting.